Have you ever wondered about the unseen battle raging between the US and China? No, we're not talking about trade wars or military posturing, we're referring to the intense competition over rare earth elements. These elements, often hidden away in our everyday lives, are crucial components in modern technology. We're talking about your sleek smartphones, your electric cars, even the satellites orbiting our planet. They're all powered in part by these rare earth elements. But here's the thing, they're not as plentiful as we'd like them to be. And that is where the US-China rivalry comes into play. Both superpowers are vying for control over these precious resources. It's a high-stakes game of chess, with the board set on a global scale. It's a battle, unseen to most, yet its outcome could shape the future of technology and influence global power dynamics. Now that we've piqued your interest, let's dive into the history of this rivalry. China's emergence as a global powerhouse in the late 20th century is deeply intertwined with its dominance in the rare earth industry. As the world was marveling at the technological advancements of the 1990s, China was silently making strategic moves becoming the largest global producer of rare earth elements. These elements often overlooked are the unsung heroes of modern technology, playing crucial roles in everything from smartphones to electric cars, satellites to wind turbines. China's clever positioning in this industry was no accident, it was a calculated move, a part of a grander strategy. By controlling the majority of the world's rare earth elements, China gained an undeniable edge, exerting influence over the global supply chain. This dominance not only gave China considerable economic leverage, but also a geopolitical one. As China rose, the US and other countries found themselves increasingly dependent on Chinese rare earth supplies. This dependency would later spark a rivalry that continues to shape the global landscape to this day. The US, once a leading producer of rare earths, woke up to its dependence on China in the late 2000s. The wake-up call came in the form of the 2010 rare earth crisis, a game-changer in the world of geopolitics. China, the global leader in rare earth production, temporarily halted exports to Japan. The effects of this decision rippled across the globe, triggering a significant price spike and causing alarm bells to ring in Washington. The crisis exposed the US's vulnerability, highlighting its reliance on China for these vital resources. This realization sparked a drive to rebuild the US rare earth industry. The government began investing in domestic production, seeking to loosen China's grip on the market. The goal was clear regain control over a crucial part of the supply chain that could have profound implications for national security and technological dominance. This event marked the beginning of the ongoing US-China rare earth rivalry. Fast forward to today. How does the US-China rare earth rivalry stand? In the current landscape, China maintains its stronghold, leading the rare earth industry with a lion's share of global production. But the United States isn't sitting idle. It's actively scouting for alternative supplies, striving to reduce its dependency on Chinese exports. Initiatives are underway to tap into domestic reserves and explore international partnerships. However, the quest for rare earth elements isn't without its challenges. One of the biggest hurdles lies in the environmental impact of rare earth mining. These processes can result in significant ecological damage, raising concerns about sustainability and environmental responsibility, this rivalry then, is a complex chess game. It's not just about economic dominance but also about balancing technological ambitions with the duty to protect our planet. It's about ensuring technological sovereignty while being mindful of the environmental footprint. The rare earth rivalry is not just about economic dominance but also environmental responsibility and technological sovereignty. So, what have we learned about the US-China rare earth rivalry? Well, we've journeyed through the unseen battle over these crucial elements, understanding their significance in our everyday lives, from smartphones to military tech. We've seen how China rose to dominance, leveraging its vast reserves and lenient environmental regulations to become the world's leading rare earth exporter. We then dived into the wake-up call in 2010, when a geopolitical spat sparked a crisis, exposing the US's vulnerability and spurring it into action. And we've examined where we stand now, with the US striving to secure its own supply chain and reduce dependence on China. The tale of this rivalry is far from over but one thing is certain, the stakes are high and the players are determined. In this global game of chess the pieces are not just countries but elements on the periodic table. As always don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.